Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can design a hair website using Shopify. This website I'm showing you how to create is gonna be perfect for if you're selling hair, hair products, and hair accessories. And you can also follow this tutorial if you sell other products like cosmetics and clothing. I'll be breaking down how you can design your website, create a stunning and a user-friendly layout, and I'll be getting into how to add products and also how to customize the navigation bar and footer of your website. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Alright, to get started, you're going to open Shopify and click Online Store. When you scroll down to Themes, you will see all of Shopify's free website themes. I'll be installing the original Dawn theme, and this is going to be the base for your website design. Then you're going to click Customize. When you click this icon, it will show you how the website is going to look in full screen. And this phone icon is going to show you how the website looks on a mobile device. I'd recommend starting off with laying out your website. This way, it'll be a lot easier to customize the color scheme and the pictures from there. I'm going to start by removing this featured collection. And right below this main image banner, I'll be featuring a specific product collection. You can feature your best-selling collection or your collection of new arrivals. I'll be doing that by clicking Add Section to Template. Then I'm going to insert an image with text. And for this section, under Desktop Image Placement, I'll be setting this to Image Second. That way it will move this main image to the right side of the page. Right below this section, I'll be featuring each product collection. You can do that by clicking Add Section, then inserting a collection list. For this section, under number of columns on desktop, this is where you can increase the display of the collections. I'll be displaying five product collections. And later on, I'll be showing you how you can create collections and how you can add your products to those collections. And so far, this is gonna be a good base layout for your website. The next section I'll be adding is optional, but I'll be importing an about us section. To do that, I'm just gonna insert a rich text. And this is a perfect, simple way that you can do your About Us section. And once again, in a moment, I'll be showing you how to customize each of these sections. You may or may not already have a default email signup on your footer bar. I'll be removing this and I'll be inserting a full width email signup. And that's how you can create a simple layout for your website. Here's an example of a more advanced version of this hair website. As you can see, this one that I put together has a moving slideshow, so that's something you can incorporate if you would like. And you can also include more advanced sections. You can add a blog section if you want to feature your blog. And you can also add a featured social media section. You can choose to specifically feature your Instagram or your TikTok. By the way, if you are interested in this demo website, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I've put together this pre-made Shopify theme in a downloadable format for in case you just don't have time to design your website. I also have other Shopify theme templates for hair stores. These Shopify theme templates will help you save a ton of time. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you can easily install that into your store. These are editable website templates that you can add your photos and your products to. I also have many other types of Shopify website templates designed for many different businesses, whether you sell clothing and apparel, makeup and cosmetics, and I also have some for dropshipping businesses. Those will be linked in my description box below. All right, and then back to the website. To start, when you click theme settings, then colors, this is where you can customize the color scheme within your website. I'm gonna open color scheme one, and I'll be changing the background color to a light shade of pink. You can change this to whichever color that you would like. Then right below that, you can adjust the text color, the solid button background. This is gonna represent your button labels. Then you can change the colors of the outline buttons. Then I'm gonna open color scheme two, and I'll be setting the background to white, and then I'll be doing the text colors and black. Right here under announcement bar is where you can edit the announcement bar text. For an example, you can put any shipping announcements here on the announcement bar. You can also remove the announcement bar for a more minimalist look. When you scroll down and scroll back up, you'll notice that the header will pop up. That is called a sticky header effect. And right here under sticky header, you can remove that effect if you would like. You can also select always. That way the sticky header will remain on the website when customers are scrolling. When you click theme settings, then logo, this is where you can upload your brand's logo straight from your computer. You can also upload your logo as your favicon image, and I would recommend having your logo in a PNG format. And right here under desktop logo width, you can increase the size of your logo. And here is also how your header section is going to appear here on mobile. Next, I'll be showing you how you can customize this image banner. First off, you're going to click select image, and here you can upload any of your brand pictures or your product photos straight from your computer. You can adjust the image overlay opacity. This will help to make the picture more opaque or more transparent. You can also choose to upload a second image. This second image is gonna appear off to the right of this main image. For now, I'll just be leaving it at one image. And under banner height, I'm gonna set this to adapt to first image. This way, when it's in full screen, it will display the full size of the banner. I'm gonna show the container on desktop and you want to make sure to show the container on mobile as well. And I'm going to be setting this to color scheme at 2. Under desktop content position, I'm going to set this to middle right. And based on these options, you can reposition the text wherever you would like. Next, when you click on this heading box, you can change the text. 
and you can also adjust the size of this text. You can make it small, large, and you can also adjust the fonts. And when you click this button, you can also add another text box. And here you can add a little tagline text. Then when you click on this button, you can retitle this button label. I'll be removing the outline button style. Then you can select a link leading to a page or a product collection within your website. And also if you would like to adjust these fonts, when you click typography, this is where you can adjust the main font and the secondary font. And depending on which font you choose, you can also put it in bold or italic. And that's how you can create an easy basic header banner for your website. When customers click a catalog, this will take them to the shop all section of your website. And when they click contact, this will take them to your contact form. Next, I'm going to show you how you can feature one of your product collections. Under image, this is where you can upload a picture of one of your products. Under desktop image width, I'm going to set this to small just to minimize the size of the picture. When you click on this heading, you can put a title to match that new collection. For an example, you can put shop our new arrival or shop our brand new hair products. And this is optional, but you can put a mini description to explain this new collection or this new product. You can also make the text smaller or larger. Then when you click on this button label, you can retitle this and paste the link leading to that new product collection. For a few other editing options under content layout, you can choose to apply an overlap. This way the text area will have its own overlapping box. Then under desktop content alignment, you can set the text to center. And here you can also lower the position of the picture. Next, I'll be showing you how you can do your collection list section. First off, right here under heading, you can retitle this section and you can also make the text larger or smaller. You can enable the view all button if your store has more than five collections. This way customers will be able to click the view all and it will take them to your collections page. Here's how this section is gonna appear on mobile so customers will be able to see each collection laid out. To create a collection on your store, first you're gonna click products, then collections. And when you click create collection, first off you can title your collection. And under collection type, I like to select manual. This way you'll have the option to manually add Add products to this collection. You can also select automated. For an example here, if you put the condition as title, then type in a word that matches this collection. Then for an example, every new bundle of hair that you launch onto your store, as long as the word bundle is in the title, it will automatically add to this collection. Then to add a new product to your store, you're just going to click products, click add product. And here, this is where you can add your title, your description. I do have an in-depth tutorial for how you can customize your product page. I'll link that in my description box below. And right here, when you click collections, this is where you can add it to that new bundles collection. Then here, when you open your Shopify theme, when you click on a collection, then click select collection. This is where you can feature each of those new product collections. And once you're done, here is how that collection list is going to appear on your store. And next, I'll be showing you how you can do the About Us section. First off, you're going to click on this heading. And here, you can title this Who Are We or Our Story. And under Heading Size, you can make the text larger or smaller. When you click on this text section, this is where you can insert your brand description. For an example, you can use AI writing tools like ChatGPT to help you write out your brand description and your product descriptions. And you can also customize this further. For an example, you can change the sizes of the text and you can put them in bold, italic, and if you also select a specific text box, you can insert a link leading to a specific page or a product collection within your website. And that's how you can make a super quick about a section for your brand. Then for the email sign up section, I'm gonna be removing this subheading, and then you can retitle this section. And when customers sign up for your email list, you will then be able to send them bulk email newsletters. To send out email newsletters to your customer, here on Shopify, you're going to click Marketing, then click Create Campaign. I'm going to click Shopify Email, and this is where you can customize an email that you'll be sending out in bulk to the customers that signed up to your email list. Back to the website, next I'll be showing you how you can customize your navigation bar and the footer bar of your website. To customize your main menu, here on Shopify, you're going to click Online Store, then Navigation. You're going to open your main menu. And when you click add menu item, you can add new links to collections and pages within your website. For an example, you can add links to those new product collections. Then to customize your footer menu, here under navigation, you're going to open that footer menu. And right now there's a default search bar. I'd recommend putting a link to your homepage. You can put a link leading to all your products. You're going to want to put a link leading to your contact page. And then you can put a link leading to your store policies. Really quickly, if you don't know where to customize your store policies, here you're just going to want to click settings, then click policies, and this is where you can write your return and refund policy and all of your other shipping policies. Then when you open your website, right here under footer, I'm going to click add block, and first I'm going to import an image. This is for if you want to feature your logo on your footer menu. Then I'm going to feature a menu block, 
I'll be removing this heading text and then make sure that you applied that new footer menu that we just customized. And then for one last section, I like to add a little mini about us section to the footer. And this is going to be the finished beginner friendly Shopify website. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget I have many different Shopify theme templates available on my website. I've put together these pre-made Shopify website templates and these will save you a ton of time from designing your website. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order you'll receive it in a zip file format and here in your Shopify account you can easily install that into your store. In these template bundles I've included instruction guides to help you with editing and installing the templates and I have many types for many different businesses. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.